Welcome back. We continue with question time with the Deputy President in the National Assembly. The leader of the opposition, Lindwe Mazibuko, had a question about the Labor Relations Act of 1995. She asked whether cabinet intended amendments to the act ensure flexibility in wage negotiations, greater competition in the labor market, and to meet the demand for skills. She also wanted to know from Deputy President Montlante if he had taken any steps to ensure that economic growth led by the private sector was made a priority. Ms. Mazubuko referred to an increase of 107,000 in the number of unemployed in 2011. She asked the Deputy President how this would influence the short-term job creation commission's approach to job creation. In his reply, the Deputy President said Cabinet was to consider amendments to the Labor Relations Act within the next few months. This act provided uh, the legal framework for promoting and facilitating collective bargaining at the workplace. President Montlante said, Deputy President Montlante said, the policies of government was to promote job creation and to protect vulnerable workers. He said the current legislation was flexible enough to allow for competition in the labor market. As the Honourable Member will be aware, the Minister of Higher Education and Training recently published a green paper on post-school further edu education and training. The conclusion of the green paper uh, process will undoubtedly have major implications for our labour market as it will accelerate all efforts to build a capable labour force. With regard to economic growth, Deputy President Montlante said the private sector did play a major role, but government had to create an enabling environment for growth. He said economic growth must go hand in hand with job creation and generate enough revenue for government to pursue progressive policies. The massive infrastructure investment that was announced by the President during the State of the Nation address and further elaborated upon by the Minister of Finance during the budget speech is one of the initiatives that will contribute to the creation of an environment that enables growth. In addition to infrastructure investment, we are implementing measures to diversify exports, reduce the cost of doing business in South Africa, reduce constraints to growth in various sectors, as well as to promote more efficient production systems and entrepreneurship and innovation. We also undertake on a continuous basis regulatory reform to improve competitiveness. While it is true that the number of unemployed people rose by 107,000 last year, the quarterly labor force survey released earlier this month informs us that 365,000 people were able to get new jobs. Our main focus is to ensure that economic growth accelerates and that we create more jobs, mainly in the private sector. We were able to reduce the number of people unemployed in the years before this recession began, and we aim to return to that level of performance and even exceed it in the years to come. In the meantime, we are also providing short-term employment and various forms of social support to those not able to find jobs. The leader of the opposition, Lindwe Mazubuko, had a supplementary question. She said people were concerned about amendments to the Labor Relations Act and the Basic Conditions of Employment Act, which were set to come to the legislature later this year. She was particularly concerned about barriers in the way of, of young and temporary workers trying to get into the job market. And the major concern is around the issue of clamping down on short-term and temporary contracts because we know that this will significantly restrict the ability of the economy to absorb first-time workers, young workers, unskilled workers, and in particular workers who haven't got previous work experience. It's a well-known fact, Mr. Speaker, that you cannot get a job without experience and you cannot get experience without a job. Will the Deputy President confirm whether or not these provisions are con contained in the draft amendments to this legislation? And if so, how does he plan within these envisioned constraints to deliver on his mandate as the head of the Short-Term Job Creation Commission? 
Responding to that question, the Deputy President said a binding accord recently signed at NEDLEC provided for recognition of temporary workers as apprentices. This followed complaints by employers that they could not contribute to the training of new entrants to the job market because in the past a temporary worker had to be employed after three months. In, in our uh, focus to try and, and create uh, uh, jobs, the, it's, it's important for us to address all the bottlenecks, anything that would impede the entry of young people into the labor market should be addressed and, and therefore the amendments cannot be uh, carried through if the practical effect of those amendments to the uh, Labor Relations Act as well as Basic Conditions of Employment Act uh, thwart this effort of uh, ensuring that young people are able to be absorbed and gain the requisite uh, experience in the work milieu. There were more follow-up questions. Mr. Alfred Hanare of uh, the Congress of the People wanted to know what had happened to the youth wage subsidy announced by the President in last year's State of the Nation address. And within an hour after that, Kosadu started throwing their toys out of the court. And the President backtracked so fast that during 2012 SONA statement, his silence on this issue was deafening. But recently, Mr. Mantasha decided to kick Mr. Vivis uh, in the teeth on the same issue. So the question is, is the Deputy President prepared to support Minister Gordon, who is perceived to be the person spearheading the issue of youth wage subsidy, particularly because uh, it seems as if uh, Mr. Mantasha has decided to harness Mr. Vavi. As far as I know, this, this matter is work in progress. It's on the agenda of NEDLEC. Uh, it's been debated there because we work on the basis of consensus. And once uh, consensus is arrived at, uh, at NEDLEC, then it would be uh, implemented forthwith without any uh, delays. But the matter is work in progress. It is uh, being debated in NEDLEC. We'll have more questions with the Deputy President in tomorrow's program, as well as questions to and replies from ministers in the Peace and Security Cluster. We have to go for a break, and when we return, we catch up on some of this week's member statements in the National Assembly.